Ready to play? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Karin Schnaze, Germany. And on my left, Olga Konon, Germany. Karin Schnaze to serve, love all, play. And you're very welcome back. Second match on court in this Schedule five, women singles, all German matchup, and certainly from a neutral perspective, one of the most interesting Service matches over. from the finals. Uh, we've got in yellow, one yeah, in yellow uh, Belarusian one. born Olga Konova. Ol Olga Konon uh, lives in Saarbrücken in uh, southern Germany. Doesn't play in the national team, but is the national German champion. And uh, against Karen Schnaza, top ranked German. Two. Lock. And uh, Karen's last year, she will retire uh, after the Olympics. She has said that and uh, stated that already. So this is uh, Karen's last year playing top-level badminton. Service and over. Uh, her focus, of course, being the national team's preferred player One, is to go to two. the Rio Olympics. And uh, two players I know very, very well, both personally and professionally, and uh, two players I have the height of respect Service for, over. both on and off the court. Right, you can see Karen Schnaas is seeded number one, one in the tournament. She's the uh, uh, smaller girl. Uh, and um, her opponent, Olga Kornon, taller girl in yellow. Seeded number four in the tournament. Yeah, Olga spent 2015 Coming back from a serious one. injury she sustained in 2014 in the women's team championship while playing for Germany. Uh, it was a career-threatening injury to her knee. She was told that she would never play again, but uh, Olga is not that type of person, Service just to over. give up. And uh, now she is back and uh, back at Two world number 40 four. and uh, winning uh, four tournaments in 2015 and a uh, host of semifinals and quarterfinals and... And uh, certainly the player that will probably take over from Karen when Karen retires after the Olympic Games. She's uh, Karen Schnaas is 30 years old and Olga is 26. Six. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she's looking fit to me when you see um, when you see her now, and um, I saw the senior Three, finals yesterday, four. and they. Both players were very steady and uh, won their semi-finals in straight games. Yeah, Karen last year was uh, certainly didn't get much luck in terms of draws, and uh, but uh, she cannot complain this week in Uppsala. She's got a very good draw. She's had easy matches all Four the way to the final, oh. and I would suspect that she is the one who may be just a little bit fresher. Uh, Olga has had one or two tough battles. Uh, mentally more so than maybe uh, when you look at the results. Certainly the match in the semi-final against Lina Kjasfeld of Denmark was a, a mental battle for, for Olga because she had lost the four previous matches. Uh, so, uh, you know, when you get a bogey player like that, it's sometimes mentally difficult to get over that hurdle. 
but she yeah, coped but with it very well yesterday. Yeah, she mm. did. She played uh, solid yesterday, and uh, she beat the Danish players. Um. Five, four. And while the software and the tournament software says there's no head-to-head -head information between these players, you can rest assured that these players know each other inside out. They probably do. Yeah, and they play each other uh, a lot in the German league uh, for their respective clubs. And in recent meetings, without having the results in front of me, I think Olga has won some of the more recent meetings between them in the German League. Six, mm -hmm. four. But certainly Karen is looking very, very fresh. And uh, there is a renewed enthusiasm about her this week. She struggled a little bit between September and uh, November with some poor results. In 2015, she got a, Save not a serious, over. but she got a niggling injury of her calf. Uh, and in an Olympic Five, year, six. the tournaments don't stop. Uh, so she was forced to play on and try and uh, play through the injury, which when you look back, in my opinion, was probably the wrong thing to do. She probably should have took the couple of weeks off. Mm -hmm. Like some rehab and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. But certainly Christmas period has given her that opportunity well. for rehab and now she looks extremely sharp again. Yes, she does. Mm. She looks uh, very fit to me as well. Mm -hmm. uh, she works hard on the court. She has good footwork yeah. and um, good racket skills as well. You know, Seven, let's, let's not five. forget there's a, a certain amount of bragging rights that goes with winning this tournament when you're... Uh, Ranked 20, I think 26 in the Olga world is, is 40. 20, 40 yeah, in so the world ranking, yes. Olga has been getting closer and closer and closer to Karen. And uh, so I think a lot of people in Germany will be looking quite closely at this match. Mm -hmm. Eight, five. Super net from Schnaza. And again, all got full stretch. Oh. Yeah, that's a it's fantastic rally, really, from Karen Schnaza, dictating the pace. Olga Conan always struggling a little bit in defense. A very good rally Nine, from uh, Karen. Uh, good clears and uh, tight uh, net drops. Who's, um, as you say, all guys in full stretch to cover the court all the time. And finally, she couldn't take it. 10, 5. Karen's brother, Christoph, coaching her this week. Ah. And again, uh, very good cross court uh, slice drop. Yeah, Karen playing with such high speed. Yes, she does. Uh, Olga yeah. still not really into the pace of the match. No, uh, it's looking a little bit slow mm. in her legs uh, this morning. And I think Olga needs to. Um, she can't let uh, Karen uh, take control of the game. She must um, do something more herself mm -hmm. to, to do that. A couple of years ago, seconds. you know, Olga would be a player. Seconds. When she got behind, she would uh, oh. just fall to pieces. And uh, But in the last 12 months, there's a, there's a new maturity about her game where... I've seen her go a set down to players like uh, Linda Zichiri and players like this who are all at the same level, same ranking Eleven maybe as five. Karen and then coming back and winning in three. So mentally, Eight. she has got so much stronger in the last uh, 12 months for sure. So um, 
I just won't write her off just yet. Service over. Six, eleven. Yeah. Olga, of course, who represented Belarus at the Beijing Olympics in 2008, mm -hmm. and then moved to Poland. And from Poland, uh, moved to Germany and has been in Germany, oh, must be nearly eight, ten years at this stage anyway. And uh, So she's allowed to play for Germany in the yes, Olympics? She if she's yes, yes, she has a German passport. She's German national. She speaks fluent German. Yeah, and this time uh, you can see all guys the one that's taking control of the rally and forcing Karen to the four corners. That's Seven, right. Mm. She 11. must take more control of the rallies. And um, you see at the end, uh, Karen Schnasser couldn't, couldn't make a good um, clear. So all guys finishing the, uh, that rally. Out again. Eight, eleven. It's uh, definitely a better game from Olga. Nine, now. She has 11. higher pace in her in her game with the um, with the clears, and she's using her height much better now after uh, the break. Nine. Service over. That was nice deception on that. Cross drop from Schnazza. Yeah, Karen's cross court uh, drops, they are very sharp mm. and accurate, definitely, uh, from both forehand and backhand side. Thomas has the game, the certainly the singles game. Have you seen it change much L outside of the scoring systems and things like that? Uh, have you seen the level of fitness pace that the yes, players uh, yes. have have now completely different say than when you were playing at such a high level in the 90s yes it's uh, the standard has higher and the, the type of game has changed the, the ladies nowadays Service they over. play more like the men's if you for 15 years ago let's say like, like that and 10 um, 12 yeah it's even uh, we don't see it so much in this match but i've seen so many of the younger women's singles uh, now starting to play uh, the backhand short serve. Yeah. Why? Because they know that they have the power yeah, uh, of the lifts. I was just supposed to say that, you, for example, you see that they play more short 12. service, for example, mm. and, uh, because they are, they are more fit, they can mm. cover the court mm. better. Back in the days, it was always a long serve in ladies singles and stuff like that, yeah. Service over. Karen did, of course, have that good win the very, very last tournament before Christmas when she went to Mersin in southern Tur Turkey and won that international challenge there. So effectively looking to go back to back with her own tournament wins. And as I said, though, she had that poor run in Denmark 13, and France 11. and China, and the Scottish Open where she was beaten in, each in the first round in each occasion, but she was carrying a little niggling injury that she sustained at the uh, Dutch Open the week before. 14, 11.
good clear games from Olga. She's pushes. Service Karen over. Karen to the back. Yeah. And finally, yeah. And Karen's clears. Back. Karen's clears were just getting a little bit shorter, shorter as the, the rally time. went on. Yes. 12, 14. I think a lot of the singles players have been saying that this week, Thomas, uh, because the hole is relatively slow, yes. uh, really just trying to find the length yeah. on the clears. And push your opponent in the back. Push the opponent to the back, yeah. Especially in later singles, it's, it's very much very important with that kind of game. That's great net. Yeah. Great yeah. net over. from Karen Schnauzer. Super shot. It's early at the net and mm. a good spin on the shot, yeah. You could see her preparation 12. coming in. The racket was high, nice and early, as you said. Oh, that's an oh, error. Yeah, easy mistake from mm. over 16, there. 16, 12. Olga won two titles very early on at the start of the season in September, winning in uh, Ukraine and Bulgaria, and then followed that up with a win at the beginning of December at the Irish Open in Dublin. Oh, a little bit of luck from yeah, Karen. Was, Seventeen. Yeah, you got to make your luck too also. Yeah, but there was a cross-court drop as well, and I mm -hmm. think Olga uh, should read that drop shots better than she does she uh, she Karen plays a lot of cross court shots from the back mm. uh, and I think Olga should use that to her own advantage to read that better and to come closer to in the court and, and, and So 15 minutes gone in this women's singles finals Karen Schnauzer serving in white leading 17-12 against Olga Conan <gasps> in yellow so Here. A really good rally from both girls. Good. Again, Olga persisting with pushing Karen back. Oh, <laughs> that was tight. Uh, unlucky, I think, for Karen. She she read it, but uh, to be fair to Olga, she dictated the pace of yes. most of the rally. But Conan certainly persisting with pushing 13, pushing 18. Karen to the rear court. You see as well, it's very high up with the racket mm. and the net, and, and get a good angle at shortstop. Service oh. over. Uh, too short clear from corner on cross mm. court. And I actually, 19, from both players, 14. I think it's a little bit too much cross-court uh, shots. Um. Yeah. But as long as you're winning on it, it's a good tactic. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I was just about to say that. If it's working, yeah. why change it? Really good fighting from Karen. Yeah, she has uh, good energy uh, when, she's, uh, when she's playing. And, uh, uh, very good footwork. She's, uh, yeah, she's an ed energy player. Mm. So, so game point, Karen Schneiser. Oh. Service over. 
15, 20. High serve from Olga. Nice drop. Mm -hmm. no, but what I meant was that Ol 16, I think Olga 20. could, could uh, read this better than uh, she does and use, um, use her height and her length to... Um, what do you call it when you... Um, use your opponent's uh, shots to your own ad advantage. Game. Oh. So uh, first game, Karen Schnauzer 21-16, and I think Thomas, certainly Karen was valued for that win, and uh, she looks the most comfortable, most relaxed in that first set. Olga yes. looking a little bit, uh, not tired, but uh, just, just maybe just lacking maybe some ideas and a little bit of variation, and uh, I think Karen certainly reading Olga better than Olga is reading Karen. Definitely, and uh, Karin has uh, higher speed in her game than Olga has for the moment. And Olga needs to uh, pace up her footwork to, to get uh, Karin's shots better. The women's singles draw. Karen Schnaza had that victory in two games over Nana Vainio of Finland in the semi final, 10 and 4. So little energy expelled from Karen. And uh, really, only the very first game, she, or second round match, where she was taking the three in a tricky match against Meta Poulsen of Denmark. It was a real, only real challenge that Karen has had this week. It's been a good draw. But uh, you can only beat what's put in front of you. Seconds. And Karen has certainly done that this seconds. week. Olga beat Lena Kausfeld in the semi final 17 and 12, and beat another Dane, Juli Philips, in 19 and 5 in the quarter final Second before game. that. Love on. Play. Yes. Uh, looking a little bit stiffer, One, Olga. No. She, uh, she needs to take the shuttle higher up. Service over. Uh, good go uh, cross court net shot. One all. Service over. That won't do to miss a serve. Two like that. one. No chance. Just a mistake again. Three, one. I think Olga's just currently fighting with herself in her own mind right now. And uh, certainly in her cross court slices, there's not as much speed no. as Karen has in, 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 in her shots from the, from the rear court. Better speed that time. I think as well, you, when you meet a, a girl like Karen Schnasse who's mm. working hard and uh, with a high pace, you, I think you can feel a little bit stressed because mm. uh, that's Karen's game, she tries to stress her opponent all the time. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful super. cross court. That yeah. drop. Heavy slice. Clear winner from Schnazza. But if you see what I mean, if, if Olga goes closer to the net when, uh, in that kind of uh, rally. Yeah. It's a long way from Karen to take the next shot uh, when she make a cross court drop like that. She needs to cover a lot of court Karen when she plays like that.
four, one. Play. Service over. Made some good saves there, Karen, but she couldn't make it till the end there. Two, four. Yeah, but you can see Schnaza, she still manages to recover. She gets a racket on the shuttle, which really puts doubts in your mind if you're the one that thinks you're, you know, you maybe have won the rally. You feel like, oh, I need to really go for the lines and a little bit more. And Service over. Yeah, but you see, Karen, as well, she, even if it's almost Five, impossible to take two. the shot, she, she makes a good effort of mm. it, and, and that's hard for your opponent when, uh, exactly. when you have that kind of um, attitude. Mm -hmm. Karen is getting everything back. Yeah, she's really got a lot of things mm. back, yeah. Six, two. And then stresses Olga to make harder shots all the time, and, and uh, at the end, Olga misses so far, we see. Service oh, over. Inside. Good follow up by Olga. Yeah, line yes. Thank you. Three, six. But you think, Thomas, that you know that um, if Olga can just hang in there. As this match goes on, Karen is expending a lot of energy th with, the, with the amount of uh, yardage she's covering on the courts, you know, and you have Four to, fatigue six. has to set in, and she's certainly expending, I think, more energy than, than Olga is at the moment, physically. Yes, I mean, yeah. Karen is a, is a short girl, mm. she, she uh, needs to work hard to cover all the courts, um, but uh, I think uh, when you look at Karen, she looks strong. Five, and I think, yeah, six. And the rally so far is not so long it, that it takes mm. the energy out of Karen. And, um, but we will see. Again, great defense from Schnazza. Really big rally, this. Yeah, she's working hard now, Karen, to get the shot back. Oh, oh. service over. Good Misjudgment. From both girls. Misjudgment from Olga, and you know, Olga must be wondering what she has to do to win the rally. Seven, Maybe she got a little five. bit uh, frustrated because Karen gets all the shots ba mm. back and Olga needs to make harder shots all the time. Now it's Olga starting to Eight, look tired. Five. Nine, five. Service over. Six, nine. Olga, I think, goes to Denmark after this tournament to Odense to train there for uh, one week. Mm. Uh, Lennart Engler camp? Or yeah, yeah. Yes, with Lennart. Seven, Nine. 
eight, nine. Service over. Yeah, but Karen's net has been really sharp. Yeah, today. you see Karen, she, she's Ten, moving to the eight. net and she takes the, the shuttle very, very early. Uh, she doesn't give Olga any time to, to recover in the, in the rally. Yeah, she's... Um, and that's the thing I uh, try to explain that um, I think Olga needs to do the same thing. Mm. She needs to take the shuttle earlier and, and make more stress on Karen. I think by the virtue that Karen is getting there early, she's actually reading Olga's game better. better. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. It's like that. Mm. Service over. A good angle on the on that cross court smash from Olga, yeah. and that uh, also I mean she she Nine, must use her ten. height to, to take the shuttle earlier to get good angles and um, to make more difficult shots like that. Just to use her length and height better. Service over. 11-9 mm -hmm. yeah. interval. Misjudgment from Olga, and it takes Karen Schnaza to the interval lead with a two-point advantage. Schnaza, of course, winning the first 21-16 as we tick over half hour in this women's singles final. And for all the dominance that Karen has shown, and she has been dominant in yes, this game. Yes. So far. So far, Olga is still in there. You know, I think... Okay, Olga travels a lot by herself. She tends to just uh, be very much a solitary figure when it comes to badminton. You will always find her on her own, doing mm -hmm. her own thing. That's something she's grown up with, really, because she's had to do that all her life. Uh, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. And it's in little times like these that you wonder will a coach be able to point that out to her uh, at a crucial point. But, as I said, in the last 12 months, I've seen her develop so much that she's able to figure these things out for herself by herself and uh, it'll be interesting to see now can she bring anything to the match in this second half of this Eleven second nine. game but as you say if you want to become Late. a real top player you, you need to adjust your game by mm. yourself mm. And you can't have a coach all the time yeah. to say do this and do that Service over. That's an example of what I mean. She takes the uh, Olga takes the the Ten, clear very 12. high up and uh, make a, a tight drop shot who goes tight to the net and uh, Schnasse doesn't reach it. Service over. Not too many simple errors like that. She does. She yeah. does. Yeah. She can't afford that. Thirteen ten. Service over. 11, 13. Something else, actually, and we tend to underestimate, is the power that Karen has for such a small girl. You s okay. Absolutely. That, that smash did not go over, but there was some real power in it. Again, real early to the really net, Thomas. Net. Yeah. She's reading those uh, dots from Olga 13. really well. Yeah, but there's no... Uh, there's two... Uh, the drop shots from Olga, they are too slow. Yeah, there's not, not any speed or mm. tempo in them. They're, uh, for want of a better expression, they're quite loopy. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Uh, 
where Karens right are coming with a much more a faster and steeper yep. angle on them. Definitely. Mm. That's a better drop mm. for long. Energy sapping rally. A sliced straight. Yeah. Save is over. See that Olga's lift was too short, and mm. uh, then uh, Karen has the chance to uh, finish the rally. The slight straight. 14, mm. 12. Karen would just seem to have appeared to have more energy in those longer rallies. Mm. That's her game. She's a you know short, powerful, yeah. punchy player. Energy yeah. uh, player. Service over. I was Sorry. Yeah. I couldn't quite see it, and uh, certainly Karen felt it was out. Yeah, the length was in. I think it was on the on the side that Karen was disappointed. Thirteen. 14. Yes, sir. It was not such a good serve. 14. There was oh. plenty of room to attack it. And I think Karen will be quite disappointed with that return of serve. Service over. Uh, so easy mistake from Olga mm. there. 15, 14. I think that when Karen makes those cross court uh, shots, especially from a four, and Olga needs to step forward and push yeah. Karen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agree. Back to the uh, mm. back hand instead. Service over. Good follow up by Olga. She was in good position in that rally. The follow up to the net. Fifteen all. Ooh. Oh. Superb net yeah. from both girls, it must be said, but yeah. a brave shot from Conan. Sixteen fifteen. But I think that's also uh, important for Olga. Her, her, her shots must be sharper and more accurate. Mm. Oh, that's really good net. Uh. But you have to say superb. Yeah, superb superb from Karen. Yeah. yeah. But the you see the drop shot the there? Yeah, the drop was so yeah. slow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, but Karen has all the time oh. in the world to go uh, to the net and kill that one. But I think Olga maybe thought she had the, wor the rally won at least a couple of uh, shots beforehand. Yeah. But yeah, she took the. She was forced to take it a little bit behind her, I think. Mm. That, and uh, that, that looping drop just gave Karen so much time. Yes. That could be the difference. There's been just 16. too many unforced errors, really, from Olga. Great rally, rally, girls. Rally, yeah. yeah. Oh, great work. Based on that drop shot, you see directly Karen is in more trouble. Oh, mm. fantastic! Good work. It's a really good rally. Yeah, but you really have to tip your hat to Karen Schnazer and her relentless hunt for the shuttle and 18, uh, her 16. never, never giving up attitude and. Uh, 
probably the best rally of the match so Hi. far. Easy mistake. Easy 19, mistake. Yeah. 16. I think we've probably counted at least five of those in this second game. Yeah, it was 16 all and uh, mm -hmm. that long rally now and that easy mistake. Now it's three points ahe ahead again, Karen. Important point here. If Olga uh, should uh, have some contacts, you need to win this. A short clear from Olga. Service oh over. Should we come there? Seventeen nineteen. Oh, you mm. see. <laughs> That's a good deception on that drop shot. But you mm. see as well, it's, uh, 18, it's much sharper stroke than, than uh, we see before. And two years ago, three years ago, uh, Thomas, if Kari Schnazer had got to 1916 and oh. already won game up against Olga, it, the match would have been over. Mm -hmm, and okay. this is what I'm talking about, yeah. where Olga has found this new mental, better uh, mental, better strong, mental yeah. strong, and where she keeps going, keeps yeah. going, keeps going. It's not over until it's over. It yeah. never is? It never is. Over. Important point for mm. Karen here. Yeah. We have the first match point here for Karen Schnasse. Yeah, 41 minutes gone. 20 it's been match points. An exhilarating 19. second half of this second game so far. Over. Oh, Karen! Oh, she was hoping. She was hoping it was <laughs> yeah. out. Yeah, you go and play it. Yeah, <laughs> like I can tell you, uh, always when you hope something, it never <laughs> happens. That's why it's called hope. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, very lucky from Olga there. Uh, of course, Karen had one in the. Uh, these little bits of luck tend to even themselves out. Mm, yeah. yeah. Usually it does like that. Mm. And now all of a sudden, it's Conan with game points. Yeah. Oh, again. Game. Yes. And there, I said it, Thomas. I said she has this newfound mental strength that keeps her. She <laughs> keep fighting. She keep digging and Second playing and playing. And from Olga nowhere, Bonon, it's one game all. 20. And it's Karen Schnauzer now will feel a little bit pressurized because she has made the running. She has forced most of the rallies. And then after 42 yeah, minutes, it's I one game you. all. And uh, yeah. Olga will go into this third game uh, with I a little bit of so. uh, momentum. As you say, almost uh, out of nothing this happened mm. because uh, she hasn't played good in the in the start of the second uh, set, Olga, and uh, Karen was always in control and uh, she had 19-16 and a game match point. So, uh, good comeback from Olga here. I think as well Olga moves better now in, than in the first game and she... Uh, 
has better pace, except from the drop shots that yeah. we spoke about. Which I think she, that's she needs to have more pressure on them. Yeah. yeah, the drop shots, they just do not have enough penetration in no. them. They're not, they're not quick enough and fast they're enough. They're not sharp and, uh, enough yeah. at all. Mm. And uh, Karen is so quick in her feet, she, wait, she has no problems with that kind yeah, of drop yeah. shots either. I don't know if you would agree, Thomas, but I feel that Karen is playing at close to her best. Uh, and I have a funny feeling that Olga still has a little bit more to give. Yeah, uh, it feels like, you know, Karen has one type of game and she does that directly 100% yeah. uh, at once. Final game. Love on. It certainly has us, us on the edge of our seats. An intriguing final game coming up. Service over. Both players One. have uh, no. made some misjudgment on this uh, near uh, baseline. Yeah, um, I don't know. I, I haven't been on court, but I don't think it's any drift in the no, hole. It doesn't no. feel like that. No, the hole is not big enough to no. have some serious no. drift. Save this over. time, Olga getting it, the judgment right. One all. Oh, certainly Karen had the open court. Two, yeah, and you one. see she's very high at the net. Mm -hmm. You take the shot, it's very early here, Karen. And, um, but the shot was out. It's always important in the third game to get a good start. You know, you feel like now I'm in control. And oh, all of a sudden the net Three, from Olga Konen one. has become uh, at a really high level. But there she doesn't cover the net. She makes a good net shot, <laughs> yeah. Karen, but then she backs she off. She backs off a little bit, yes, yes, yes. Net stop back, and then. I think maybe she was expecting. Yeah, she was probably advantage. expecting a lift. Probably. Service over. And she won't also to cover the back court, and then mm. two, she's three. A too late in the front. Oh. Shortly from Karen mm. and a cross court uh, smash from Olga down the line. Four, two. Well, Olga has a good start. But no, as I told you before, uh, in this kind of rally, Olga is using her height better. She yeah. gets good, better angles on the shots. Service over. Three, four. Four, bad decision from Olga there. She could make a cross court lift or whatever. But always, <laughs> it's funny to you. Always, you will see when Karen gets the opportunity to lift the shuttle after an error from her opponent, she'll get in and get that shuttle really quick because she wants to keep. Yeah. She yeah, wants yeah. to keep the pace Service high and keep over. the rally going. Olga will just take a little bit of time uh, to compose mm. herself. Five, and, um, four. And I think Karen really wants to keep the pressure on. It, it's. It looks very um, clearly uh, that Karen is the more energetic mm. girl and she wants to, if he gets the rallies going and uh, she wants to start the next rally mm. directly. Service over. Again, you see it, Karen comes straight in to get that shuttle. Five, oh. yeah, yeah, but you yeah. want the momentum if you're yeah. in the flow then you want yeah. to, uh, so that's... Mm. But I like that, I like that because yeah. there's in so many, uh, and that's the, that's the, uh, the downside of, of modern badminton. Sometimes there's so much time taken between points. Yeah. Uh, oh. 
Oh, that's good. Service over. Just starting to wonder, is Karen getting a little bit tired? Because, uh, again, when Karen would, uh, would, would normally get that shot back, she would Six, somehow manage to five. get up straight away again mm. and be back in the rally. That time she didn't. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Service over. Smash down the line from Conan. Just out. Yeah. Six. She makes a little bit too much uh, unforced er errors, uh, Olga, actually. Uh, two in a row. Yeah, like that, for example. Seven, six. But that's also really as a uh, result of Karen's game. Karen is so energetic that she almost yeah. forces you to go for the lines. Yeah. Yeah. Service over. But, but it is like that when, when you're playing an, an oh. opponent who is very energetic, get the shots back all the mm. time. It's then you then you're looking for the lines and, and it makes harder shots for, uh, to get points. But it's very important for Olga to get cool, and she doesn't have to make these super difficult shots mm. all the time. She must rally with her opponent as well. Service yeah. over. It's clearly inside. Uh, Eight, seven. Yeah, yeah. I over. think. Certainly Olga was uh, seizing the initiative from the serve. Good power smash and uh, Eight, oh. good concentration. 50 minutes gone, one game each and eight all in this women's singles final. from all ago. Uh, yeah, again, Karen is very early at the net there, Karen. Yeah. Yeah. It's exactly the same as we said before, Thomas. The Nine, drop, just too slow. Uh, yeah. And uh, Karen has so much time to read it and then come in and get it nice and early. And she comes in so prepared with the racket nice and high. Definitely, mm. uh, and she has so much power in her clear game, so, so she almost forces Olga to make uh, mm. a drop shot, and then Karen follows up at the net. Service uh, over. Good deep smash mm. down the line. Nine, all. Oh, easy mistake. I think she was yeah. too sure that she was Ten, going to uh, finish that before she did it. Yeah, as, as, as far as mistakes go, that's really as bad as it gets. Like it was there. I would have been able to kill that one. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> just again, but Thomas, you know, it's 52 minutes, three sets of badminton. Yeah, but the Mentally, you, yep. the concentration starts to go. You you would remember that. You would know that. Yeah. 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 Get a little bit tired in mm. your head, and you you must be focused all the time. Yeah, very good. Eleven nine as well. interval. Change ends. Yeah, all gets now up. Eleven nine. The changing ends for the last time. But she all gets better pace in our game now. Mm. And, uh, mm. 
maybe Karen is a little bit tired. Yeah, yeah. even coming off, slower. you can see it. Yeah. Karen is a little bit laboured, just moving ends. Yeah. Olga is in, get the bag, and yeah. very quickly to the other end. But it's high quality, you know, it's, it's good to watch. It's uh, certainly exciting uh, for the people here. And there's a large crowd starting to come in now because obviously the men's singles has uh, Matthias Borg. Yeah, the Swedish guy. And that'll be uh, a loud match for sure with the crowd. That's what I love about Sweden. Uh, when I come here, we always get the old tunes. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Some classic old ones. I know that band playing Alphaville. I remember oh. that song. Yeah. In the mid 80s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take me back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, big Eleven in Japan. Nine. Yeah. Yeah. Forever Young. Forever Young was the other Play. one. Yes, yes. And I think that was as good as it got for that band. But uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, back to the action, Thomas. Yep. Service over. Uh, there you see you again. Ten, a bad drop 11. shot with no pace at all. Karen is early at the net, make a good net stop. And Olga couldn't lift it. Oh. Um. 11, all. Service oh. over. Too short there from Karen and uh, Olga make a good cross court smash. 12, 11. Uh, it's not easy to see who's going to win this. It's very close here. Oh. No, not a chance that mm. that gone over. 13, 11. Good rally from Olga. Yeah. <laughs> you see, when Olga plays like that, Karen has 14, troubles to, to covering on the whole court line. Oh, good the rally here yeah. again. Ooh. Oh, over. you have to applaud that fantastic cross net. What a brave shot from Karen Great. Schnauzer. Really top level, to top draw. Tied to the net as well, and that's why it's got so difficult. Karen just having a little chat with the umpire Sarah Shahoseni. I'm not quite sure what they said. Oh, I was thinking about that as well. I wonder what mm -hmm. she was saying. Loose one from Olga. 13, Karen back in it again. 
Good follow up by Karen there. Yeah. Fourteen on. Yeah, three points in a row for Karen. Service over. Oh, uh, she yeah. is. She was there very early. She was there. All she had to do was put it over yeah. the net. Olga was hesitant at the rear court and uh, was really. Yeah, it should have 15, been a routine ra uh, point for Karen. But as we said, Thomas, we're an hour playing mm -hmm. and uh, it's just the mental fatigue starts to set in and uh, things you wouldn't do at the beginning of a match, you I find yourself doing right. at the end. Better that time from yeah. Karen. Heavy slice. Oh, wow. a very good save. That good anticipation from Schnaza, all. just reading and yep. anticipating where Olga was going to put the shuttle. Fifteen all. Oh, very good angle from uh, Olga there. Karen just getting herself down on the court, getting some sweat down, buying some time for both girls. A little breather Maybe for some both. Tactics, yeah. Yeah. And I don't think <laughs> I don't think any of us would begrudge them just a little break at this point. No, no. <laughs> they really have been going at it hard. Think for one hour now. Get a little bit tired now. Yeah. yeah, that's right. As you say. Service over. It felt in all the time. Sixteen on. Good block defense from Karen Schnazer. Oh, what wrist from Schnazer. But uh, tired she was, yeah, 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 but she was winning that rally. It was really good fighting. But you see, when you make this, when you when you defend with this cross court 17, drops, she 16. needs to cover so much court in the in the shots after that. Mm -hmm. So Karen Schnaza just edges in front. And a really crucial 18, point in the match 16. to get a two-point yep. lead, Thomas. Service yeah, over. Good follow up. You see, Karen was short on the clear, and uh, Olga was uh, attacking and went further to the net. Very good. 17. Uh, what do you 18. call it in basketball? Is it crunch time? Or yeah. yeah. We have a term for it in Ireland. We call it squeaky bum time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not something you would use in commentary. No. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Good rally from Olga. She pushes with the uh, tough clears, and um, Karen couldn't defend herself good enough. 18 on. As you say, Thomas, crunch time for sure, but yeah. um, it's it can go either way. Yeah, I'm. Mm. I don't want to Ball. guess what, how is this is going to end. Yeah, That smash from Olga looked to be so flat that if Karen had a duct, it may have gone 19, out. 19, 18. No. 
Short lift, mm. yeah. Service Good over. variation from Karen. I think for our listeners, it would be difficult to hear it, but we can certainly hear the effort the girls are putting in. You can hear their heavy off. breathing. Mm. They're really working hard on court. Yeah, they definitely do. This is a huge point coming up at 19 all in the deciding set. Great net from Karen Schnaza. Oh, good oh, just out. Judgment there. Mm -hmm. And we have a match point again for Karen. She had match point in the second Great set, and now she has it again. Great net again. Oh, oh, net this net. must be it. Game. Yeah, that's it. She's done it. Ah, it's a good win from Karen. Well, it's very satisfied. So this is, she's looking. High level, top quality, and uh, deserved winner, I think. Uh, yeah. Good fight from Olga. Uh, yeah. She came back well in the second game. That's our brother Christoph coming yeah. in to congratulate Karen. Commiserations to Olga, but a top level match. It's uh, Karen Schnaza, who is the champion of the Swedish Masters. We will now take a break. We'll go to... Karen Schnaza, 21, 16, 2022, 21, 19. Thank you. Thank you. And now, the award ceremony for the Swedish Masters 2016 Women's Single Final. Presenting the awards are... Rickard Malmström, Sports Administrator, Uppsala Kommun and former elite badminton player, P.G. Jönsson. The runner-up of the Swedish Masters 2016 Women's Single from Germany, Olga Konon. Swedish Masters 2016 women's single from Germany, Karin Schnase. <laughs>
Karen, wow. You know, uh, first of all, I have to congratulate you on this win. You and Olga gave us a great match. We were sitting there commentating on it, and we were glued to it. So that's a, it was a great feeling, and the, the crowd loved it. But uh, you've come out on top, and uh, a great end to 2015, and now a great start. How are you feeling uh, right now? Yeah, I'm feeling very, very great now. The year has started very well. I mean, I knew it's always a tough match against Olga because we played at the beginning of the year in team matches. Now we played also three sets. I think it's always three sets, and we knew it before. So that's why I was a bit angry when I didn't fit it uh, when I didn't finish it at the second set. And I was really, yeah, mentally then coming back. But yeah, I think it was always one, one, two, two, three, three until the end and yeah now I'm very happy because everybody knows the situation between me and her in the Olympic qualification it's me or her yeah. so we will see what's going on but now first of all I'm happy with my performance I want to continue like this for the new new tournaments I think Europeans are the next so I'm looking forward yeah. Yeah. and you had that horrible little injury that you got at the Dutch and it took you a little time to get over that even though you pushed yourself through it now that's behind you, and we can see uh, the speed is back in that uh, that running game that you're so famous for, and that must make you feel, uh, you know, feel happy. Yeah, very, very happy. I was very sad at the end of the year after Dutch because normally Dutch was a very good tournament for me, but then it ended with a bad injury, and I didn't realize that it was so bad. So I continue with playing, and it get worse and worse. And then you can't practice really well because all the tournaments, Olympic qualification. So now we said at the end of the year and beginning of the year, now you have to practice. Yeah. And normally we thought Sweden is just to look how is your yeah. performance. Mm -hmm. So now I'm feeling very well on court and happy to be back and no injury. And I hope the year yeah. will continue like this to be injury free and just having fun. And then you will see what's going on at the yeah, end. Absolutely. Enjoy the experience. Now you can go and enjoy the extra money that comes with winning an international challenge these days. Uh, the money will increase over the next couple of years, which is good for the players coming along after you, of course. So, uh, Karen, very well done. Grace to speak to you and uh, go and enjoy yourself. Well done. Right. Thanks. Good stuff. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Well done. I, you know, I'm used to it. If I could scrape off.